I have a dream, said Martin Luther King on 28th August 1963. Those words that change the way people live across the world today. Good evening, Toastmasters and dear guests. Good evening. My name is Benet, and I have a dream. It all started exactly two decades later, on 26th of August 1983, when I was born. My parents, Mr. P.D. Chauhan and Mrs. Anila Chauhan, dreamed of me to be a person who would be polite, humble, and respectful. Thus, they named me Vinay. Yes, you're laughing, yeah. Uh, well, yes, they named me Vinay. The name uh, derived from the Sanskrit language, meaning polite, humble, and respectful. Well, I have a younger brother too, who just joined the banking industry. And uh, we have two lovely pets at home. One's August, who is a yellow Labrador, and a pug, a Chinese pug, and we call him Neon. Now, my childhood, my early childhood was pretty very interesting because I got to travel a lot uh, because my father is in the banking industry, so he got transferred very often and I traveled along with our family. Moved to different schools, met a lot of different people, new people every time I moved to different cities. Now, this movement to different cities brought me a lot of excitement in me because it gave me an opportunity to meet a lot of people. As a young child, as a child, it, it was very interesting and fascinating because I moved to new school. I met new teachers. There were different ways of learning. So that created an excitement in me. And even though I love traveling to different cities, and I think that is one of the reasons why I still love traveling. Uh, now, as a child, I had always dreamed of becoming a doctor. However, I'm not a doctor today. Well, I had dreamed of becoming a doctor. And during my pre-university, I was in biology. Now, little did I know that taking up biology was going to scare me because I had to study dead animals, birds, and flowers, and plants. Now, that was something that did not interest me at all. Yeah. But, however, I had taken up biology and I had to finish biology and study biology. I, I finished college. And as soon as I finished college, I was in the biggest dilemma of my life because those days, the only thing that I could choose from was either engineering or medicine. And I did not want to study medicine. But however, I still wanted to make a difference in people's lives because I thought being a doctor would give me an opportunity to help people, serve people and make a difference in their life. But as you know, a degree is very, very important. And at least in those days, it was very important to people like me because I thought getting a degree would give me, help me make a living, you know, a better living, make, help me make an earning. However, I had to dilute on my dream of making a difference and I chose to study commerce. Now, commerce was filled with numbers and analytics. Now, this was the biggest disaster of my life because numbers and working with numbers is something not in my hands. It's not my cup of tea. Even today, I started working with numbers. But however, I had to finish college. I had to tell my parents that, yes, I can do something. All right. So I, I, however, nevertheless, I did complete my graduation with flying colors. I did really well with that. I don't know how I did that, but I still did it. So I did really well in my college and got out of it. Now, I started working at a very young age. Now, when I say young age, not so little. Uh, during my college, where uh, my classmates were not working, during, uh, during summer holidays, they would take up special classes, but I chose to work during my summer holidays. And uh, starting work at a very young age has helped me to become who I am. As a child, I always loved watching movies and I was fond of different languages and accents from across the world. And uh, that uh, inspired me to learn different languages. I took up French a few years ago. I learned French. I did my diploma in French. And uh, just a few, uh, just a couple of years ago, I started learning uh, one of the languages from the northeast of India, Nagalese, a language from Nagaland. I don't know how many of you know that. Anybody know that? Hey, that's good. Awesome. So I started learning Nagalese, and today I'm, I'm, at least I can hold a conversation with somebody who is from that place, which, which in turn has helped me in a way that learning languages and accents has paved a path for me to get into the training profession. Now, becoming a trainer, getting in the, into the training profession has changed my life forever. Because through this, my dream of making a difference to people's life had started to shape up. So, as I said, training has made a lot of difference in my life. I started training people on a 
whole new aspects, whole new arenas. I train people on leadership. I train people on life skills, communication, and a lot of different things. I propel their life to make a difference. I propel a lot of things in them so that they can become better people tomorrow. Now, as the passion towards learning different languages continued and making a difference in people's life continued, I took up, in 2010, I was introduced to something called NLP, that is Neuro Linguistic Programming. It sounds very confusing, very difficult when you hear it for the first time. That's what happened with me. I'm curious you want to know more about it now. Uh, but anyways, I took up the course for Neuro Linguistic Programming, a course called Practitioner Certification Program. Now, taking up that course was the best thing that could ever, ever, ever that could happen to me. Because taking up this course helped me personally in achieving my goals. And then I started using that and working with other people as a coach. And that started showing results. Now, because of that, today, just last year, I went on to become the owner of a training and coaching organization called Imaginarium. And the sole purpose of Imaginarium is to make a difference in people's life. Dear close masters and guests, I have a dream. I stand before you today to let you know that I am living a dream and I am transitioning into another one. A dream to make a difference in people's life through public speaking. And I hope that each and every one of you sitting here today will help me in making that dream come true. Thank you very much.